Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get past a lot of the restrictions that Microsoft impose on you if you haven't activated Windows 10. As you can see, I have got the Activate Windows. I am on the latest version that's currently out right now. And I have the, the dark taskbar and a, a wallpaper. By the way, I will show you how to get it for free without using the wallpaper engine. Also, I've got a profile picture and I will show you how to get rid of the activate windows watermark if you want to, but it does require a registry edit. I've taken it off just for the purposes of this video, just so you could see that I am on unactivated windows. In fact, I will show you windows isn't activated. There you go. No key. But if like me, you don't want to spend money on windows because it is expensive. I'm still on home i might as well have gone for pro and you don't trust the the keys you can find online then i then i wouldn't bother i wouldn't bother buying it because 120 pounds is just a lot but anyway let's get into this if you do want this dark theme what you do if you go down to file explorer and then go to local disk windows and then just type r on your keyboard it just says resources or you can scroll down um it's about halfway down just double click on resources and then you'll see the themes folder. Now the one that comes with Windows, Windows right now is the light theme. But the one we want is the aero theme. So if I double click the light theme, as you can see, it brings me back onto the light theme. But this just kind of hurts my eyes. I don't know, I lived with this for so long. Um, but if you double click the aero theme. Um, if you double click the aero theme, there you go. You might have to close this window. Then you'll see that you go straight back to this which is well to this if you weren't on it before which in my opinion looks a lot better so the next thing i would recommend doing is changing your profile picture so the way you do that you can't do that through windows instead i'm gonna there's going to be a link in the description and if you go to the website and sign in you can actually there's actually an option to change your profile picture on the website another thing is how to change your wallpaper so right now i'm using wallpaper engine but you don't need this. Many people think you do need this. I didn't use this at the start. There are easier, cheaper ways, even though it's not that expensive, to be honest. It's like £3. But if you don't want to buy a wallpaper engine, and or if your PC is just not good enough at running the wallpaper engine, you could just pause it. But So all you need to do is download an image that you like, or create it if you're hardcore, and find that image. So I'm just going to go to a... Yeah, there's Dr. Eggman. Um... A image let's say this one because this was what I had if we just right click it and look at the top you'll see setters desktop background there you go you just do that another way to do it is to put it in the the Windows background folder but it's easier just to do this now you'll know that if you go on to your background on your lock screen it won't actually be that it will be the default one still and I've looked through the files there is no way to change this um, just through the files because it defaults I then there probably is but that I've seen it defaults to the Windows spotlight which it gets from the internet but there is luckily a way to do this oh, I don't know what Windows is doing there so the way you do this if you just find another image I'm just gonna use the same one or we'll go here you go I'll use this, this Minecraft one if all you do you right click it and you go open with you click photos or you can just uh, have clicked it here no, just double click it but if you have like paint.net like me or something else to open it you're gonna have to change it and then click it here's the photo now the way you do this it's pretty simple all you do you can just click it here all you need to do is click set as I'm blind and I've just done it by accident set as lock screen and if you just click that, it will be set as lock screen. It's, um, there you go. Those are all the safe ones, in, well, in my opinion. You can do a registry edit, so, um, to get rid of this watermark. So the way to do this, if you just go to the registry editor, um, you will need administrator permission. If you just go to this, this will be in the, uh, description. Um, so it's computer, H key, local machine, software. Microsoft Windows NT current version, software protection platform, and then activation. All you need to do is change simple 0 to a 1. This will get rid of this because 
telling it to be disabled. Right now it just says not be disabled. And that is all the things I can think of, of how to get rid of all these things. Now another thing, uh, I get this all the time, it decides to linger. Um, a quick, quick fix for you, uh, you just click on here, just click restart, and there you go. That, that fixes it, which is rather handy. Thanks for watching this video. Um, hope this helped. If it didn't, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.